<laughs> yes, we're big animal lovers in our household. We have four rescue cats and two rescue dogs. Um, I grew up with cats, as did my husband, and when we got married, we knew that we uh, definitely wanted to add cats to our family. So we got our first two shortly after we got married from a, a local organization in Los Angeles that specializes with mainly cats. And then about a year ago, we were shopping for pet food, and uh, the local pet store that we go to was having an adoption fair, and lo and behold, we went in for food and came home with food and two kittens. So Good. Yes, because I've, I've been having to sort of talk people off the ledge about it. I'm like, you know, I think we need to change the definition of what it means to be a crazy cat person. Because I feel like if you have the, the means and you have the, the love and the time and energy, then there is no number to put on how many cats you could and should have. Um, but we have four and then we take care of three feral cats outside. We feed them and I have little cat houses for them and stuff too. So there's no, I, I don't know if there's a number that we're going to stop at necessarily. Okay. Okay. Being a big cat advocate, it kind of felt like a no-brainer to want to be involved with a company who, uh, through this, this particular program, they're donating $275,000 to 50 different cat focus shelters around the country, um, you know, towards nutritional support and adoptions and renovation, that sort of thing. Um, I'm actually in Denver right now at the Max Fund Animal Adoption Center, and this particular shelter got a $50,000 donation towards a bigger renovation project, so we're here to sort of finish that project, and then they're having a big adoption fair tomorrow. Um, but it, it just, again, it felt like a very organic thing to want to be a part of, considering that I, I love you know, cats and animals as much as I, I do, and, and just continuing to spread the word of the importance of rescuing, and, and uh, you know, there are 3.4 million cats that are in shelters each year looking for uh, a forever home, and anything I can do to sort of raise awareness and advocate on their behalf, I'm happy to do. Well, we're asking people, our call to action is for people on uh, social media, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram, Facebook, your choice, to share your, um, your rescue story with the hashtag MyRescueStory. And if we get uh, 1,500 people to do it, then Purina has said that they're going to donate an additional $50,000 to PetFinder, which, you know, helps shelters across the country and it's where we adopted two of our, our pets from as well. So. Um, they do great work, and I feel like that's an easy and organic way, again, to sort of be a part of this cause and unlock a donation that will do a lot of good. Um, well, like I said, there are so many cats out there, 3.4 million each year that are homeless and are, are looking to find a home. And I, I feel like shelter animals in particular, in, in my experience, I mean, I, I think besides it being a quality of life issue, the, the sort of like they add such an immeasurable amount of, of love and even for health reasons, they lower blood pressure and help alleviate stress, having a pet in your life. I mean, it's just, it's the greatest gift, you know? And I kind of love that cats, you sort of have to earn it a little bit more with them than dogs, you know? But once they love you, once you sort of like get in there, you're solid, you're golden, and, and they, they love you, uh, you know, indefinitely. And, you know, with our cats, it's like, by the time I get home this afternoon, I know it's going to take a little time to warm up, but then, you know, they'll be sleeping on my pillow with me tonight.